Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the beautiful add-on known as Extreme PBR Nexus. Extreme PBR Nexus is the most recent update to this beautiful Extreme PBR add-on that is a material add-on for Blender. Extreme PBR add-on is made available by Andrew D and he is the very same creator of HDRI Maker and also a couple more add-ons that you can find right here. So with the new updates to the Extreme PBR tool, there are certain updates that you can find. One of them is the price is now dropped from $89 all the way to 69 there are also huge updates to the materials that you will be working with so to actually see this in action we need to jump over to blender and take a look at how this actually works so with blender simply opened right here all you need to do is go over to edit go over to preference and install the add-on now there's a couple of things that you need to keep in mind once you install this add-on the very first one is with the add-on installed you need to actually go over to the extreme pbr website and register and once you register you need to enter the details of your checking out from Blender Market and that would help you generate a license and you can activate this license on your computer. Secondly, the next thing you need to do is go over to the update section and you can now easily update the add-on from here and also update the library. So you no longer need to download the whole library pack or you know re-download the add-on every single time. All you need to do is hit update and if there's an update to the add-on, you can always get this update for the core add-on and you can also get updates to the library depending on the library pack that you download. And to me, I think this makes a lot of sense and I will suggest that other add-on creators actually take a look at how this one works and implement it. So how does the add-on actually perform for those who like to work with it? And for this add-on, what we need to do is to simply go over and throw in a simple grid, scale that grid all the way up and I will throw in a subdivision level of five, control A this, just apply that and then tap N on the keyboard with it active. And of course you would notice we have the extreme PBR Nexus right here. So with the add-on here, if you go in and uh, take a look at this gigantic thumbnail, you notice that we have the painter, the video, and also the shader maker. So with the shader maker, you can make shaders, with the video, you can load in video files and with the painter, you can actually paint directly onto your model. So if you just simply go ahead and have the model selected with the painter active, click on the plus sign, and then go over to the material section, you can now do some stuff. Let's scroll all the way down and you can now do some stuff. You can choose to paint the diffuse. And if I click on this button, select the kind of paint I want, click on okay, we can paint. And of course you can see we are painting directly in here. And other things that you can do, you can choose to paint your emission. And if you like to paint that, let's increase that strength. Go all the way to EV to take a look at that. And then I can go over to the paint emission, select the color that I want. Let's say a little bit of green uh, and click on OK. And of course, we can go in and also paint this one as well. So once you start painting this, you can, of course, start seeing this. So let's also go over to where we have our rendering. Make sure we have Bloom turned on and Booyah. This looks very nice. So you now have access to painting these things however you want. And for sure, if you want to get rid of this, you can simply click on the remove button to remove it. Like we mentioned earlier, there are lots of materials that you can now work with and you can find them within the category. So if you go over to the categories or if you click down here, you know, you can see the categories or you can simply click on the drop down. You can see that we have a whole lot. So we have categories all the way from acoustic down to wood. You can find paper stuff, metal, leaves, plaster, pipe, pavers, you know, name it, you would find it right here. So let's say, for example, we go over here and I select the brick classic, you know, and then choose to select one of these. Let's just see which one pops open. Yeah. So let's say we select this. You would notice that it shows me what resolution that is available. So we can get this for 512, 1K, all the way to 8K. Once you have that there, you can click on add. And of course, playing with the parameters, you can now mix several materials together. Let's take a look at the vegetation. And for this reason, I'm just gonna go ahead and select this vegetation. We can choose to mix things together by doing this. Now, once you have this object selected and you have the material that you wanna work with selected, and then you have the material you like to mix with, you can now click on add moss, which is going to add what we have on this thumbnail over to this section. So if we click on add moss, you can see that we have some sort of layer based thing going on here. And this makes sense because at this point, you can now simply use either of the paint brushes to paint what you want, wherever you want it. So let's just duplicate this light about something like this, just to make sure we have enough light select and then if i click on paint module 2 which is definitely going to paint the moss we can paint the moss right here and this doesn't look bad at all right so this doesn't look bad 
But then you might want to get some sort of reading. And what you can do to get that reading going in is go over to where you have your textures, click on the plus sign to add a new texture. And in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and select the Musgrave and let's tweak this thing. And instead of having it as multi-fractural, I'm just going to get it as FBM and we can have that there. Let's tweak the size, you know, just to compensate for some things. And yeah, so we have a size looking so pretty. And of course, you notice if you go in and paint, there's nothing that changes because we haven't loaded these over to the texture mask. So if we go over to the texture mask, click on the drop down, select that texture, and then come right over here and start painting. You can see we can now mix and match these things together. Also play with the material parameters, however you choose. It's also worth knowing that the new update comes with an FX layer, which means you can now add effects to this. And for sure, if you're comfortable with what you have, you can simply click on stop to get this right here. And for those looking for water, maybe you've been wondering how you can create a water material or, you know, you just want to get that quick procedural water material that you can use in your scene. Then you can simply take a look at the fluids and uh, you can use it. So you can go over to the fluid, click on the plus button and you have it right here. You can play with the water speed. You can play with the wave strength. You can play with the scale, the roughness, the flow of the water and also the flow direction. So if you press the playback button, you can see this. You like it to go faster increase this you like to increase the scale do this like so so you can have it you want to have some roughness all right you want to have some metallicness okay and you know press the playback button and you can now start seeing these water in action and of course you might want to also go ahead and explore the new car paint so there is a new car paint that is currently available and let's simply take a look at that as well so we would you know make a copy of this and we can throw in a car paint let's just remove what we have here and we can throw in this car paint right here click on the add and you can add that in let's bring this down allow our shaders to compile and for sure you can also start making some very interesting changes so if you would like to add some glazing colors of course you can also go ahead and throw that in and you can increase the facing blend just to get that you might want to increase the flex size reduce the flex size you know, basically anything that you like to do with a car paint, you can start doing it with this add-on. So this is more like it. For those who like to take a look at this, you can go over to the Extreme PBR add-on section and check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update and until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.